appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, once again, if I could have everyone's attention, how are you guys doing out there tonight? I'm going to try that one more time. How are we doing tonight? That sounds like a group that's ready to party. This is a very exciting moment to kick off our reception. We are about to introduce the wedding party and, of course, our bride and groom tonight. So, if you would turn your attention towards our main entrance as we bring out that wedding party. My name is DJ James. Please give a big round of applause for Kira and Dan. And the promise 
which seeks us and finds us. We are grateful for this meal. We pray your blessing upon those who prepared it and those who will serve it. We ask you to bless Johanna and Owen and each of us as we celebrate tonight. And may each one of us gathered here work to create a world where the children of Johanna and Owen and all our children can grow up in safety, love, and peace. We love you so much. And now we have our welcome from Father of the Bride. Yeah, I this professionally. Well, I don't do so much this. <laughs> First, I want to thank you, all of you, for being here today, sharing these moments with us. I know there are people here that came from other states, even on Bullitt's side, and also on Johanna's side. I see Jairus family down here. Thank you very much for coming. Even from Brazil, Paul, thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate it. I won't expect anything less from you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I want a special thank to Jean and Eileen for yesterday's dinner. It was really amazing. Thank you very much. But most importantly, I want to thank you for raising Owen to be the man and the human being that he is. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. He's really an amazing kid and I I really want to have him close to me and uh, have him as a son of me. It's amazing. Thank you very much. I want to thank Johanna's mom, Janet, and Bianca, Johanna's sister, for being here. They came from Brazil. Thank you very, very, very much. I know how important this is to Johanna. So I really want to thank you. <coughs> Most importantly, thank you, Janet for giving me, giving me your She's really blessed in my life. Thank you very, very, very much. I want finally to thank Flavia, Paula, and Claudia for their support and for becoming Johanna's family when she needed the most. Thank you very much. I, I can say enough. Thank you. A few years ago in a conversation with Johanna, she told me a couple of things that at that time made me very sad. She told me that she would never get married <laughs> and would never have children. At that time, that made me, made me really, really sad. And that probably, I'm probably for certain, for mistakes I made. And for that, I'm very, very sorry. But two forward letters changing all that. Love, L-O-V-E, mm -hmm. and Roman. <laughs> and now look at her. She is getting married and planning to have four kids. Love, 
respect, and trust. I believe to be possible to live with someone without the first one, love. But having the other two, respect and trust. But never the other way around. That's my opinion. Fortunately, you have it all. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And I add love, respect, and trust. I love you. And now we have a few words from our maid of honor, Paula. Really not 
that's something that I want to be on the wrong side of in the next 40 years. <laughs> and tonight's uh, beautiful. She's officially part of our family, but Yo Yo's really been part of our family for a while now. And, and for me, one particular incident stands out. Um, a couple of years ago, we were doing our annual hike up Mount Washington. And it, it really turned into a death march. It was eight or nine miles, no food, no water. And uh, poor little Yo Yo makes it to the top. He's trying to make the best of it. Goes to the summit, goes to the cafeteria at the top of Mount Washington Observatory. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Has lunch and proceeds to just vomit all over the cafeteria lunch tray that I happen to be lucky enough to be holding. <laughs> and to a lot of people that might not have been a point of pride, but to the Boss family, especially the Belcher Town Boss, just pushing yourself to the point of vomiting is really something to be proud of. <laughs> Um, but in all seriousness, I think I, I know I speak for my immediate family and probably everybody here when I say I couldn't be more proud of uh, the person that Owen's turned into. I won't say surprised, but, but very, very proud. Um, incredibly hardworking, uh, does, you know, fantastic at his job. He's a great brother, he's a great son, and he's going to be a fantastic husband. Um, and for him to bring Johanna into our lives is just really kind of the icing on the cake. So, um, I'd like everybody to raise their glasses and toast all the yo yo who would like to love and happiness and hopefully four or five things. Oh. Yeah, how about it one more time for Sister Mary, Sister Betty, the father of the Brad Dilson, Maria Marapala, Best Man Gina, and of course, the beautiful Brad and Gina Johanna. Oh, I don't know where the party started.